What's up, Super Players? It's your homie C Rod, and today is gonna be a quick, small pack opening of this booster box, or I don't even know what to call this, but I bought this at Target, and I went to my local Target, and I was like, I wonder if they have Dragon Ball Super cards, because I've never, ever have found any actual Dragon Ball Super cards at Target, and I came across the get four booster packs and one promo pack thing right here where you get one of these event packs and it looks like you get a couple booster packs I have never seen this in my life and this is from the booster packs assault of the Saiyans so I was like what is this I've never seen this ever in Dragon Ball Super Card Game it kind of reminds me of like the mystery packs that you get in that Yu-Gi-Oh box that are exclusive to like Target and Walmart and things like that but the Dragon Ball version and I was like, oh, I gotta get this. I definitely gotta get this. So let's open it up. And I heard that Target packs, the packs that actually come out in Target, come out way better pulls, like the best pulls. So let's open this up and let's see what this is about. <clears throat> so this is, like I said, exclusive. This thing, these things are costing like around $11. So they are pretty pricey in my opinion. So... I took off the seal of approval, look at that, so it opened up pretty smoothly. And uh, that's the packaging right there, distributed by Fairfield. Alright, so let's see what this has in store. So what did I get? I got one event pack, pretty cool. I got three booster packs from Assault of the Saiyans. So let's uh, see what we pull. And the reason I wanted to make this video is to see if target packs are actually way better pulls than, you know, buying a booster box. So let's open this up. Imagine I pull the secret rare, guys. Then I'll be like, definitely buy out everything you see at target. So this is the event pack. So I get one special card. You got these from going to your big tournaments. So if those of you that cannot go to the big tournaments and get these packs, this is the best pack way to get it. Oh, and I got a pair of these. The sacrifice. This is sick. Now I can finally complete the playset. And it has that splash foiling. Look at that. Paragus. Choose one green card from your battle area. Other than this card, place it in the drop area. One, draw one card. This card's actually very good for the Broly decks. Especially if you have the Broly starter deck. This is a must. So definitely pop yourself some of these if you cannot go to your big regionals. Because that's where you, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's where you got these uh, packs. So, now for the three, oh, you get four booster packs. I, I thought it was three. We get four. Not bad. So, let's see if we can pull a secret rare or something. Because I was told, and I have seen on all over the internet, that target packs are, like, the best. So, we got brother Brotherly Hate Raditz, Stormin Legend, the Village Monster, the Tian Shinhan, Double Sunday for you ice cream lovers out there, Coco's, Grandpa, Super Saiyan Trunks, Father Figure Piccolo, Kaba, Trunks Fighting the Darkness, and ooh, this is a good one, this is a good one, Parallel, oh shoot, sorry, the, the camera died again. Yeah, this is a good one, guys. This is a really, 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 really good one. Sorry, the camera just dies randomly, but Khalifa Bold Sister Parallel Foil is definitely one that I am pretty hyped on pulling. And Final Guardian. All right, that one was not that good. But this Khalifa was really good. All right, those are our first pulls. And let's continue this on. I'm going to put those back there. So first pack, not a bad pack. I got a Parallel Foil Khalifa. I can't complain about that one. Urgent Aid Kami, an Unexpected Turn, Mass Replication, Krillin, Vados, uh, Kaioken Son Goku Leader, Frost, Khalifa, Hit, and a Beerus Rare. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wait, there's a card under it. Holy cow. I didn't even realize. And Azamasu. Fusamasu, Divine Providence. So, so far, it's looking like we got three rares, or is that a super rare? Oh, shoot, this is a super rare. All right, so we're guaranteed at least one super rare off of these packs. Let's see the ratio of these, um, like, exclusive booster packing that I got at Target. So, Almighty, Do-Over, Zeno, Kefla, Fury, 
Guwasu, Kamehameha Blast, Yamcha, Coco. Like I said, the reason I wanted to make this video is because I was told that Target packs are like the best packs. And I've never seen that packaging ever, especially since it's Target. We get, ooh, say, say in Bloodline Sun Goku, one drop Goku that's alternative parallel foil. This card's not bad at all. Not bad at all. And let's see. Oh, a Kaioken Sun Goku. I actually needed this card. This card's not bad. Very, very, very good. Nice, nice. All right, so we pulled one SR, and this is the last booster pack. Hit a like on this video if you guys like this video so I can make... Look, look how they're even taped up. You see that? It's a weird packaging. And to be honest, we got pretty good cards off of here, but it was 11 bucks. I don't know if I made my money's worth right now. I know that Super Rares and Mosso is probably like two bucks or something like that. Actually, I'm not even sure. So we got Raditz, Brotherly Hate, Mass Replication, Kefla Fury, Tian Shinhan, Goku Black, Lying in Wait, uh, Yajirobe, the Namekian, my Betrayal of Master, Excited Trio, and Saiyan Bloodline Vegeta. So, this is what I got at Target. And is it 11 bucks worth? I don't know. This pair, I guess, is definitely very worth it. I know that card costs like a good amount of money. I'm not sure. I'll probably have how much the Paragus costs and some of these cards that are actually expensive worth. So, I paid 11 bucks, and these were my pulls. Honestly, this card's really good. I'm happy I pulled that one and the Super Rare Zamasu. So it's looking like you're guaranteed to pull one Super Rare. And we got Khalifa, the Bold Sister, and the Guardian. So that's going to be the end of the video, guys. The highlight pull was probably this SR Zamasu. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the Target cards. I've never seen this unique type of packaging, so I wanted to make a video on it. Subscribe if you are new here for more Dragon Ball Super Card Game content. And... Like we always say, y'all stay super.